Hello everyone, this is video two. First video I show how to build this gasifier pellet stove or wood stove. I'm gonna burn pellets in it. This time show you how well this works. I'm going to attempt to boil three quarts of water, which would be nice if you have a bigger family. This is a medium sized gasifier, about a little smaller than a one gallon paint can. I already have it full of pellets. It's about two pounds of pellets, so it holds quite a few pellets. Um, it, I used this. It was two of these 20 ounce plastic refillable glasses you can get. Basically, a wood gas fires two chambers the fire chamber and then your outside. They're pretty simple as all the outside chamber is a flange on top to seal inside from outside. Go to video one if you want to see it has a row of holes at the bottom to allow your cool air to be drawn in from the heat. And then your inside chamber of course has a row of holes on top and bottom. Just sets right inside, just like that. So, there'll be about an inch space all the way around the, between the inside and outside chambers, top and bottom. The top, of course, is sealed. So the only air that gets in is through the bottom of the outside chamber. When it starts to heat up, that air flow comes in, it rises, and it starts to draw the smoke down into the bottom primary holes of the inside chamber. The cool air rises, heats up, and then it goes in through the top holes of the chamber. So we should just have gas, secondary gas being burnt through these top holes here. I don't know if you can see them very well, but they're there. Go to video one, like I said, and you'll see how this is built. Let's get it started. Okay, like I said, for camping, this would be great. If you had to sterilize water, most of these gasifiers are small and they can only boil a couple cups, but this will boil probably, you know, you could put a gallon of water on top of this and it'll burn. Best way to start wood pellets is to get a, I used a little charcoal fluid and I coated these pellets real well and get them nice and evenly spread out through the top so you get a nice even burn all the way down. You want to keep your pellets down below the inside jet holes. The time is, let's see, 120 right now. We'll light her up. Got her lit, like I said, uh, even for an emergency situation, if you had to sterilize water and you had more than a couple people, this is this stove works great. It's 120 now. I'll do this in about 15 minute intervals. We'll put on the Three quarts of water in a gallon paint can. There's the water, we just got her started. There's a shot underneath. And we'll take this can off so you can see the gasification. Once we get her boiling. As you can see, we already have nice gasification it's been four minutes is all and it's going really well once 
what I'm going to do is get this water boiling. I got a lid, just an upside down pan, then I'm going to do a little trick with this. Stay tuned to see what I do, but it's going to show you how much heat this thing actually puts off. Okay, what I did, I shut the garage. Do not do this at home for a very long time because the carbon monoxide will kill you. I do have carbon monoxide detectors in the garage, but I just wanted to shut it here for a minute just to show you. Absolutely no smoke whatsoever. Just burning really nice. And this is after 10 minutes, let's see. This is after 10 minutes. No smoke at all and it's gasifying perfect. Here's the wood pellets I'm using. It's called Somerset. It is a hard wood. Okay, so. it's been 30 minutes. I can hear it's boiling. Started boiling lightly a couple minutes ago uh, 149 exactly 30 minutes I'll take the lid off and show it to you if we can see it See, it's just slightly boiling, but it'll get going really well here. There you have this little stove boil three quarts of water. Still gasifying really nicely. Now I'm going to show you what else this thing will do here in just a little bit. All right. Here's the surprise. I'm going to cook some bacon and eggs on top of the boiling water. Here's my egg. I'll let the bacon crisp up a little. We've been going for about 50 minutes right now. This gasifier too, I forgot to mention, is all stainless steel so it'll last a long, long time. Here you can see after 50 minutes it's still burning really well. And this will burn for a couple hours so you have plenty of time to cook. We'll come back in a little bit after the bacon gets going. Try to show you a really good shot of this water boiling. After about 50 minutes still. Hopefully you can see how you can definitely hear it, but let's get the bacon back on. There's a really nice shot of the gasification. Got my bacon cooking. Been about 40, 55 minutes. Still going strong. Obviously, I could take the pan off and take the water off and put it down, and it would cook really fast. Put it down on top of the stainless steel screws. But I just wanted to show how this, how hot that gets, and how well it works. I went ahead and set this pan down onto the fire here. Show you how well it works for the pan too. If you had a big cast iron pan, that'd be nice. And that smells good. 
I'll go ahead and put the water back on. There's your sterilized water. Still a little less than three quarts now, but the bacon's about done and I'll throw the eggs in. Okay, as you can see, folks, it's been an hour and, let's see, an hour and 16 minutes. Still going strong, same chamber of pellets, about two pounds of pellets. Got my breakfast done. I'm going to plate it, and it'll be ready to cook another batch here. There we have it, bacon and eggs. I went ahead and put the pan back on top because it the bacon cooked up fast and I threw my egg on. One hour and 20 minutes. We'll show this. Uh, took the lid off, see the water's boiling really well. We'll take this paint can off and I'll show you the gasification. I shut the garage just for a minute. There's no smoke at all, still. I'll open her back up here. I just doing this for video purposes. Don't do this at home. Do this in a well ventilated area. Let's take this paint can off of here. We'll show you without. You can see the gas coming out of the holes around the top and there's no fire. coming out of the pellets. It's just coming out of the secondary holes in the inside chamber. It's a nice shot right there. That's after an hour and about 20 minutes. We'll come back in about a half hour if it's still going or when it goes out. Okay, I just wanted to show after an hour and 40 minutes, still going strong. It's died down maybe a hair, and the water is still boiling. Three o'clock, so hour and 40 minutes. We'll come back, give her another 15 minutes. Okay, here's after an hour and 50 minutes. I wanted to get this on before it goes out, but it, it's still going and the water is still boiling. Um, there's the time. 3.09, so it's been an hour and 50 minutes still going. Last time I did a test burn, it went for two hours and then it stayed warm for another five hours. Of course, I'll shut it off and then I'll do another, I'll shut the video off, so. You don't have to wait for five hours, but after five hours, I will do a temperature reading on it. I was doing some temperature readings and I was getting about six, 700 degrees after about an hour and 40 minutes. There you have it, the water's still boiling. Still boiling. We'll come back. Okay, hour and 55 minutes it went out. Started smoking. We'll let the smoke die out and then see how long it stays warm. Okay, it's been about an hour since the fire went out. We're still, and the smoke died down pretty much. Last time I did it, it was, there was no smoke. This time there was. Last time it was a little more wind, so maybe it was getting a little more oxygen. We're getting about 340 to 50 degrees still. Um, if you go to video one, you can see the hole pattern. You can change the hole patterns to experiment and get maybe a little bit better burn so it burns more. But go to video one if you want to build it. Works really well. 
I'm going to come back in about five hours to take another temperature reading. Okay, everyone, I did some temperature readings after five hours. It was still four, five, six hundred degrees. There was a lot of coals left in the bottom. Uh, right now, it's 20 hours later the next day. It is Sunday, 11 o'clock. 20 hours later and there are still coals in the bottom it's still warm uh, up on the down inside there you know, it's five that's the coals up on the side it's still two to three hundred degrees uh, I think what I want to do if I'm using pellet and I'm going to do another experiment is raise up the bottom maybe about a quarter of the way above the holes so we'll get some more air flowage underneath the the wood pellets and I won't put so much wood pellets in maybe about half the wood pellets I think we'll still get the same length of burn time a couple hours using a lot less pellets and it'll burn most of the pellets up so I'm gonna try that I think it would work great with uh, pieces of sticks from the woods, pieces of wood. I'm going to try that. Small sticks and pieces of wood in case you didn't have pellets. So we'll try that. It's a larger chamber so it will hold quite a bit. Uh, overall I'm really happy with the way it worked. Just needs a little more fine tuning. But if you need to sterilize a larger amount of water, this works perfect. Hope you enjoyed it. Appreciate everyone watching. Be safe.